Hi, hello. So after a long gap, we are back with the CSAT video. Now I am going to solve three CSAT problems asked in previous year UPSC question paper uh, 2021, right? So I am just going to solve it very simply without using much of pen, paper, pencil, more mostly by metal calculation, right? So how to do that? You just watch this video fully, right? Fine. Now. Uh, the first problem is consider all three digit numbers without repetition of digits obtained using three non-zero digits which are multiples of three right let s be their sum which of the following is slash or correct right one s is always divisible by 74 two S is always divisible by 9. Select the correct answer using the code given below. 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2, neither 1 nor 2. Right? Fine. See, now <coughs> how to solve this problem? Uh, there are two things. Without repetition of digits, then the digits are multiples of 3 and non-zero digits. So, when you say multiple of 3 and non-zero digits, there are only 3 possibilities, 3, 6, 9. Now, using this 3, 6, 9, 6 3-digit numbers can be formed. For example, let us start with 3, 6, 9, then 3, 9, 6, then 6, 3, 9, then 6, 9, 3, then 9, 3, 6 and 9, 6, 3, that is all. So, these 6 digits are possible. Now, we have to find the sum of these 6 digits, right? See, now to find the sum, okay, you have to total it, you have to add 1 by 1, that is one way, but you can add in a different way and make it very simple. See, now you have the numbers 369, 396, 639, 693, 936, 963. So, what I am going to do is, I am going to count all the hundreds. There are two three hundreds, two six hundreds, two nine hundreds. So, thousand eight hundred, two nine hundreds, thousand eight hundred, two six hundred, thousand two hundred, thousand eight hundred plus thousand two hundred, three thousand and two three hundreds, three thousand six hundred, right? Fine. Now, the remaining is, uh, now we have counted all the hundreds, right? Uh, that means, two nine hundreds we have counted, two six hundreds we have counted, two three hundreds we have counted. Now, we are left with 69, 96, 39, 93, 36, 63. See, now I am going to do one thing. <coughs> 93 is close to 100, right? So, what I am going to do is 100 plus 36, 136, right? Then, uh, again 96 is close to 100. So, I am going to make it 100 plus 69, 169. So, that means, okay. <coughs> so, we have added up all the hundreds. Now, we are left with 69 plus 96 plus 39 plus 93 plus 36 plus 63, right? Fine. See, this also we can do it very easily. 60 plus 90, 150. 150 plus 30, 180. 180 plus 90, 270. 270 plus 30, 300. 300 plus 60, 360. Already we have got 3000. Now, we got 360. Now, unit digit, again 6399 plus 3, 12, 12 plus 9, 21, 21, 21, 27, 36. So, all put together you will get 3996. Now, you can easily check whether this 3996 is divisible by 74 and 3. That is all. It is easy, right? So, here the point is to identify the pattern which is given. Two things, without repetition, then multiples of 3. Then the next uh, thing is while adding up uh, within the examination hall, you will have some amount of psychological stress. So, you may end up in uh, miscalculation while adding. So, for that also as I told you do it in a very simple way. First count all the hundreds, then count all the tens, I mean 60s, 90s like that. Then you count the threes, ones unit place that is easy, right? Fine. So, you can easily observe both are true both 1 and 2 right Fine. now the next question question number 2 
a person x from a place a and another person y from a place b set out at the same time to walk towards each other the places are separated by a distance of 15 km x walks with a uniform speed of 1.5 km per hour and y walks with a uniform speed of 1 km per hour in the first hour right and uh, with a uniform speed of 1.25 km per hour in the second hour and with a uniform speed of 1.5 km per hour in the third hour and so on which of the following is slash or correct one they take 5 hours to meet two they meet midway between a and b so select the correct answer using the code given below options one only two only both one and two neither one not two right see again this is very simple thing total distance is 15 km right so the first statement 5 hours they take 5 hours to meet now we'll see 15 km uh, x walks with a speed of 1.5 km that means that means x will take 10 hours to complete the distance and uh, midway means 5 hours right fine now in this 5 hours how much distance y will cover now y is taking uh, first 1 km per hour then 1.25 then 1.5 like that all right so first 1 hour y will cover 1 second hour y will cover 2.25 third hour y will cover 3.75 then fourth hour y will y will cover 3.75 plus 1.75 that is uh, 5.5 then fifth hour y will cover 2 that means 7.5 so in fifth hour both x and y will cover a distance of 7.5 km that means they meet midway and fifth hour they meet right so again you don't need to use any pen paper pencil just by mental calculation you can easily do this right fine third problem you are given two identical sequences in two rows sequence 1 8 4 6 15 52.5 236.5 sequence 2 5 a b c d e what is the entry in the place of c for the sequence 2 options a 2.5 b 5 c 9.375 d 32.8125 d 32.8125 uh, you see the sequence 1 8 4 6 15 right see you just uh, observe this 8 divided by 2 that is 8 into 0.5 is 4 then 4 into 1.5 is 6 then 6 into 2.5 is 15 then 15 into 3.5 so that is 52.5 so it goes like this 0.5 1.5 2.5 3.5 so now you come to sequence 2 5 into 0.5 2.5 right then 2.5 into 1.5 how much it will come 3.75 then uh, this 3.75 into 2.5 3.75 into 2.5 is again it will come to 9.375 see in this case even instead of full calculation you can usually do a kind of uh, what you can say is observation see okay now 5 into 0.5 2.5 now 2.5 into 1.5 then Uh, which is coming to 3.75 then 3.75 into 2.5 definitely it will not exceed 10 right so we can just say 9.375 even without full calculation also that's all see in most of the problems as far as csat is concerned you can just do it uh, very easily just like that without putting your pen and pencil on paper right mostly mental calculations right if at all maybe one or two problems slightly on the tougher side you can spend some time on it but most of the problems are very easy to attack and uh, you should save the time in that because only when you save time in such easy problems 
you can spend some time for a few tough problems and uh, the passages comprehension passages and uh, as i always say quants and reasoning are most reliable in aptitude paper because you can do it confidently you can mark the answer very confidently you can come out confidently yeah i will clear <coughs> but a comprehension always there is a subjectivity even those who are uh, highly fluent and highly conversant in deciphering the passages and english they also miss out in the comprehension that is the reality of the comprehension passages so it's always better to give more importance to quants and reasoning and most of the problems asked in this set are very easy except one or two which are slightly on the tougher side and that is also manageable with good amount of practice right wish you all the best thank you